Now we turn to that school shooting in Georgia. Students returning to class this morning as we hear for the first time the remarkable 911 call from that brave school bookkeeper who talked the gunman down and then got him to give up. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in Decatur this morning with the story. And Steve, what amazing grace under pressure. Good morning, Lara. She is the type of educator you want watching your children. The kids are coming back this morning. 800 students who were forced to evacuate this school. Those 911 tapes will clearly be used as evidence against the young man accused of holding this school hostage. He said to tell them to back off. He doesn't want the kids. He wants the police. So back off. And, um, and what else, sir? He said he don't care if he die, he don't have nothing to live for. Georgia police releasing the call for help from the bookkeeper in the school's front office. Oh, he just went outside and started shooting. Okay. Police say the young man in the background shooting and giving orders is 20-year-old Michael Brandon Hill. The woman following them is bookkeeper Antoinette Tuff. He wants me to go on the intercom and let everybody know that he's sorry, okay? Okay. Experienced hostage negotiators tell us she acted brilliantly. I can help you. Let me talk to them and let, let's see if we can work it out so that you don't have to go away with them for a long time. It's going to be all right, sweet. I just want you to know that I love you, though, okay? And I'm proud of you. That's a good thing that you've just given up. As Tuff told George exclusively on GMA, she promised the shooter he'd be okay if he surrendered. I told him that, um, if he just um, go ahead and surrender since he didn't hurt anyone, that um, I would stay there with him until they came and that it was going to be okay, that we were going to get out safely. When he put the guns down, police came rushing in. They're coming. So just hold on, Michael. Go ahead and lay down. Stay. It ain't nothing so stupid all days of my life. But you did great. Ooh, Jesus. You did great. Oh, God. Police say Hill was carrying an AK-47 he took from a friend's home and say he snapped this photo before leaving for the school. They say he was carrying 500 rounds of ammunition. Was the potential there to have another Sandy Hook? Absolutely. These police reports show he's been in trouble before, arrested for threatening to shoot his own brother in the head last December. He was given three years probation. He has a history of poor mental health, according to his family, and he has a court appearance scheduled any day now. Lara? All right, Steve Osinsami in Decatur. That is remarkable to hear. So scared and yet able to say, I love you, to get it and done. experienced hostage negotiators yeah, lauding her indeed. performance.